I'm reading this book and it's making me think about so many things. Um, my why, you know, my son, ever since he was born, before my son, everything was just all about me. I was very selfish, you know, and uh, my success got to me and I was always just driven with goals, just significant mainly was the driving force behind all my accomplishments before my son. And when my son was born, everything was just all about him. And sometimes I take my eyes off the prize, which is freedom with my son, and I get distracted. And sorry, I've been crying. This book is really amazing. And I want to read this excerpt from um, The Strong Man's Story, if you ever get the book. Um, so here's my lesson. We all get to a point where we decide to become stronger. When we start that process, a lot of people unknowingly stop our progress by trying to protect us or to keep us living according to the label they created for us. If I had listened to my mom or my brother or my friends or my coaches, I would be a small, frail, weak kid who secretly despised himself for being that. Instead, I listened to those who encouraged me, like my dad, and I listened to my inner desires. I became who I wanted to be because I didn't get trapped in other people's ideas of who I should be. That is how I went from mouse to strongman Mike. So I can relate because um, people know me as this certain person at my work 11 years ago and they've never let it, uh, let it change. You know, they didn't realize I've grown and and the funny thing is the more that I learn about myself, the more I realize I didn't have that many great friends. You know, they were just associations. And when I was miserable is when I had so many friends. I guess misery loves company is so true. But uh, my takeaway is just keep going. Follow what's in your heart. And just keep growing, keep learning, keep li living. And you'll find the right people that's going to support you. And it's okay to walk away from the people that you thought were there for you. But they weren't, weren't really so that's all. This is my son, my wife for everything.